Hey, what up, crypto fiends? My name's Titarelli, and welcome to this tutorial, The Noob's Guide to Mining Caspa. If you're anything like me, the proposition of having the code puts fear in your rear and makes you want to puke your pants. But hold those bowels because I'm here to help. With a little patience and perseverance, you too can be mining and rocking the Caspa in no time. Okay, first thing you gotta do is download the basics. To start, we'll be downloading Go, which is a simple programming language. Check it out. How complicated can it be? Their mascot's a hamster. Most complicated thing about that is they eat their young. That's probably the most complicated thing about that. Uh, but anyway, you can download Go at golang.org, which is linked below. Download Go to your operating system. For me, I'm using a Mac. So, boopity boop, I'm going to punch a few buttons. Download complete. Got my new shoes, and I'm off to the track. Now, check this out. Once you open your download, you'll be taken to an installation wizard. Simply follow the steps, and you'll be ready to go. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> To check and see if installation was successful, let's open up our terminal, which can be found in our applications. Your terminal icon should look something like this. So we're going to open up a terminal window and type go version. If installed successfully, you should see the version number below. If you don't see that, something got skunked along the way, and I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. For the next step, we're going to download the Caspa binaries needed to mine from the Caspad GitHub. Again, everything is linked below, so don't fret if you're like, where, where do I find this or where do I find that? It's all below. Just look below the video. So once in the Caspad GitHub, you're of course going to want to download the binaries that correspond to your current operating system. For me, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac binaries. Then I'm going to unzip the files so they're standing naked and humiliated in front of me. Next, we will be closely following the instructions listed on the CASPAD installation document, again linked below. Once those downloads are complete, get your trench coat ready because it's time to code. Me personally, like I'm a kimono guy, but I, I, still, I, still, get it, I still get it in. We're going to begin our coding journey by copying the code in the CASPAD installation document under Installing Dependencies. It'll look something like this. Something to keep in mind uh, when copying and pasting this code is those money symbols stink. They're stinkola. You don't want those in your code and they'll just skunk things up. So be sure when you paste to get rid of those money signs. Next, we're going to open up a terminal window. And we're going to paste that copied code like so. And as you can see, I'm going to go back over that pasted code and get rid of those money signs, rob, rob the code a little bit. Once completed, push enter and your computer should begin installing. Like, oh my god, is this real? Is this really happening? And you're ready for step two. Just like earlier, we're going to refer back to our CASPAD installation document. And we're going to begin the process of connecting to our Caspa bin folder. To do this, we're going to return to the terminal window and type cd space and the location of your bin folder. So this may be a little different for everyone, but for me, it looks a little something like this. cd space slash users slash Jason Dixon slash go slash bin. And that's, that's my stuff. That's me in the flesh. But, you know, your files could be stored differently on your computer depending on how things are set. So uh, just, you know, get that file path pathway. Get that file pathway correct and you should be good. And remember to put a slash before stuff. Keep things slashy. Once typed and entered successfully, you should see that your terminal is now connected to the go bin. If you're in the bin, welcome to the 1%, baby. You're now ready for step three. For step number three, it's time to get our CASPAD up and running. We'll be entering the following code on the CASPAD installation guide within our queued bin terminal. 
So as you can see, I'm still in bin mode, and I'm going to enter dot slash castpad space dash dash utxo index. Push enter, and you'll now be waiting for your wallet to sync. Keep in mind, it can take a while to sync, so be prepared for a little bit of a wait while things get real. And look, you're at step four, you whore. For step four, we're going to start the Caspa wallet daemon. The daemon being connected is essential to opening up the full functionality of your wallet. In order for the daemon to run properly, you will need to open a second tab in your terminal while your Caspad UTXO index is doing its thing. If it's not running, your daemon's not going to work, so that ain't good. Um, but once you are good to go, we are going to use the following code from the Caspad installation guide. And we're going to enter it in the terminal, which you'll notice is still bin connected, like so. Dot slash Caspa wallet space start dash daemon. Push enter and you'll see a little bit of magic that should look a little something like this. You have now graduated to step number five. This is a big one. It's when you learn to um, share. For step five, we will be configuring our wallet and using the following code outlined in the CASPAD installation guide. So we're going to open up a new terminal bin connected tab and leave the daemon and CASPAD UTXO index running in the background. And we're going to enter the following commands. First, it's important that you create and encrypt your CASPA wallet. Then second, you'll need to get your address so you have something to mine and put them juicy coins into. At this point, you should practically be an expert, so just like you started your daemon, use your coding skills to perform these two functions. I believe in you. Like, more than anyone else, you have the gift. And finally, the wait is over. Welcome to step number six. It is mine time. In order to start our mine, we will be using the code from the CASPAD installation document under the title, Running a Miner. We're going to yet again open up another terminal window that should be bin connected and good to go. And we are going to enter the following command dot slash caspa miner space dash dash mining ADDR space caspa colon. And then you're going to paste your wallet address there and Push enter and you should start mining coins into that fresh new wallet of yours. Boom! You did it. Congratulations. I knew you could do it. Everyone was doubting you. Everyone's like, they can't. They're idiots. But I said, no, they're good. Keep in mind, things are evolving and growing fast for Caspa. And there's a lot of configuration and play that's beyond the scope of this tutorial that you can do with your wallet. So to stay up to date with everything or if you run into any problems, please visit the CASPA Discord. And, you know, they have some friendly, helpful community channels that could point you in the right direction. For anything you're interested in, some devs are there and willing to lend an ear to your woes. Um, but stay tuned, keep following the project, keep mining, and I'll check you later. Peace!